All right. right. So we organize our topics. Uh, it's called the podium. We organize them gold, silver, and bronze according to what's the most important story of the week, what we think is the biggest sports story of the week. Mm -hmm. The World Series just happened. We don't want to go through our bronze and silver first. We want to get straight to the gold. We just want to talk about the World Series today. So, Russell, start us off. What's your gold medal topic about the World Series today? Uh, for me, it's basically, well, let me first off start off by saying we've had two amazing World Series in a row. If you think of 2016 yeah. with the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs, seven-game series that went down the fire, extra innings. And then this year, 2017, two best teams, the Astros and the Dodgers, going to seven games. First, let's start by talking about why the Astros won. And so if you break it down by why the Astros won, and you look at their, their stopping rotation, right? You got Justin Verlander, pitch well, not a... Since he came to the Astros at the trade deadline, was 11-0 through the playoffs, um, didn't get a win in the World Series. But it was because one, Justin Verlander pitched so well that that helped uh, keep the, the Astros bullpen fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the other side, the Dodgers bullpen wasn't as fresh as they probably could have been down the stretch. Right. Uh, so you see how those different sides uh, contract a little bit. And then the star showed up for the Astros. Yes. You think about George Springer, uh, 379, five hookers, seven RBIs in the World Series, World Series MVP, of course. Carlos Correa, 276 with two homers, five RBIs. Uh, Jose Altuve, he didn't hit particularly well in the World Series, but he had two huge home runs. Yes. One in, in two going back to back with Correa. And the other one in game five, a big three run home off of uh, Clint Kershaw, I believe. So, um, I mean, Alex Bregman had an excellent defensive playoff. Yeah, so many highlights. So um, their star showed up. And to me, I think that's a key reason that the Astros won the World Series. Yes. Uh, on the opposite side of that, if you look at the Dodgers, uh, their stars didn't show up. Nope. Uh, if you think about Clayton Kershaw, he might be the – him and Keaton Jansen were, you know, great as they always are. Um, if you look at that game yesterday, Clayton Kershaw did everything he could to try to keep uh, the Dodgers in that game. You could argue that Clayton Kershaw should have started because no, Hugh Darvish was no atrocious uh, again in the second and World Series start. Um, but you look at uh, my boy Cody Bellinger, stuff. He did that was not the uh, the greatest series to him. 143, a homer, and uh, a World Series record, 17 strikeouts. That's not going to be done. Yeah. Uh, Justin Turner. You could tell that the Astros made it their mission to not let Justin Turner beat them. Yep. Hit one six for the homer. Yep. Uh, Corey Seager coming back off of his injury. Started the series well, but cooled off later in the series, 222. And then Yasiel Puig, who had a really good playoff, um, went cold through all time, 143, uh, 148 with two homers. So um, their start didn't play as well as the Astros start. And to me, when you break – when the series is as evenly matched as this one was, yeah. it's going to be something like who stars show up. Right. And the Astros are showed up when, when it mattered the most, and yeah. you know, they ended up winning the series. So true. So true. Um, so I agree with you that Clayton should have started over you. 